What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Forsaken weapon review video. Again, I will be going over one of the returning legendary weapons that you can get that comes with random rolls is the Sura Shotgun, the good bone structure. Now how to obtain this weapon, this is a general legendary drop, so you can get it from a lot of sources in the world, or you could get it from a rank up package from Banshee as well. So for all the clips in this review, this is the perks that I had. So it comes with precision frame, fires a slug round. This weapon's recoil pattern is more particularly vertical. Then we have fluted barrel and hammer forge rifling, obviously with that increased range. Then we have extended mag and accurized rounds, again, gonna try to go for that range. Then we have field prep, increased ammo reserves, faster reloads, stow and ready when you're crouched. Then we have slide shot, slide partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts range and stability that goes for a short time. We also have an Icarus mod, which improves your mid-air accuracy, and we also have a handling masterwork. So going over the masterwork, since it is a shotgun, you definitely want a ranged masterwork to be able to smack those headshots from farther away. They're, all the other masterworks really aren't necessary on this thing. Maybe if you're going PvE, like maybe a reload, but I don't think you're going to want this thing for PvE. Going over what mods to use, I feel like there's one of two options. One, you get the target adjuster mod for more target acquisition, which means you could probably maybe hit those headshots a little easier if you're having some trouble with aiming at enemies and stuff like that. And the second one is the Icarus mod, which makes this weapon 100 100% accurate in midair. I don't know why I can't say that sentence, but it's pretty funny. You can literally just float above enemies and then hit their head with it and they're done. So it's pretty cool. Going over the archetype, so it is precision frame for Suros. This archetype seems to be exclusively on Suros weapons, except for the Chaperone, which is a text mechanical weapon. But essentially this means that it shoots one slug round versus a buckshot round. This means that you're going to want to go for those headshot kills versus the body shot kills because you'll have to either clean it up with a melee or shoot again. And by that time, somebody who's using something like a Dust Rock Blues at that close range can probably drop you, or they could just drop you with a melee. So you're definitely gonna wanna focus on those headshots. Going over PVE and the PV side of Gambit, it's definitely not the most effective, like, at all. Obviously, those full auto slash rapid fire shotguns are going to shine better than the slug shotguns because, number one, the fire rate is faster, like, obviously, and number two, the full auto buckshot shotguns can put out way more DPS on bosses and take out ads a lot quicker than a slow firing precision slug shotgun right now if you wanted to use it for fun in some lower tier activities by all means like go have some fun because it can roll with some like good pve catered perks but for higher tier activities like raids or nightfalls it won't be effective at all i'm sorry like if you're thinking that it was going to be effective it won't be i'm sorry even in gambit it wouldn't be good versus other weapons maybe maybe use this as an ad clear weapon in general but definitely not for dps like if you wanted a pve god roll i don't know why you would um you probably want things like rifle barrel, hammer force rifling in the barrel slot, assault mag, tactical mag, accurized rounds, or light mag in the magazine slot, outlaw threat detector or full auto in the first trade column, and then rampage in the second trade column. Like I said, it can come with some pretty good PVE catered rolls, but again, I don't think it, it's not effective in PVE in my opinion. Now going over the Crucible and the PvP side of Gambit, this is where this weapon can shine, just a little brighter, right? When it comes to shotguns in the current PvP sandbox, the slower RPM buckshot shotguns like Dust Rock Blues and Retold Tail take the cake, obviously. But what's cool is that the Chaperone, which is the exotic kinetic slug shotgun, is one of the top five most used weapons in the Crucible. So slug, so slug shotguns aren't necessarily bad. You can hit targets from a farther distance than buck shotguns. The downfall is that you have to be able to hit your headshots, right? So there is a skill gap. I went with the Icarus mod so I could float over the door, and when an enemy runs through, I can just tap them once in the head, and they're done. Plus, being above the enemy gives you a bigger crit box to those headshots, right? So. It will take some time to getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, like once you get the hang of aiming for the head, essentially, you'll be good to go. In Gambit, I think it's a little less effective because most of your engagements, again, are at a distance, but you can get close enough. You could probably take them out with not only headshots specifically, but if they're weak, you could just body them and they'll be good. Just a forewarning, if you get within that distance, they're going to whip out their shotguns too, and those full auto like buckshot shotguns will probably take you out a lot easier than you taking them out with this weapon. Just forewarning. A PvP god roll would have things like rifle barrel or hammer force rifling in the barrel slot, accurized rounds or light mag in the magazine slot, full auto or quick draw in the first trade column, those would be interesting, and snapshot, moving target, or slide shot in the second trade column. Now going over some useful exotics and perks, there aren't really a lot of exotic weapons and armor that, that are catered toward helping this weapon perform, but obviously perks like shotgun targeting, dexterity, reload, and scavenger will help you out a lot with your gameplay, especially targeting, like being able to actually aim it on that head and not miss will be good. Dexterity, if people are shooting you, that flinch will not matter at all. So like, those are probably some of the things you want. Just going over final thoughts overall, in my opinion, 
this is not useful in PvE. Don't even try it. Like, it, I, okay, let me rephrase. You can try it. I just don't think you're going to be as effective as you would with a full auto buckshot shoddy. But I feel that if it's used properly and effectively, it can be useful in the Crucible. Again, there's definitely a skill gap, but I had a lot of fun with it, man. It's hilarious when you just pop them once in the head and they're done. And I feel like it's a lot more satisfying than using a Dust Rock Blues. Now that we're at the end of the video, there's three things that I'd like to tell you guys. So number one, if you're looking to join a clan on Xbox, PS4, or PC, the D1 Fire Team, which is the clan that I run, is looking for active players who want to grind the end game content, knock out some triumphs, etc., etc. If you and your clan want the benefits of a bigger clan, you can apply to join with the link in the description. It'll say clan link. We'll review your account essentially, and we'll see if you'll fit into the clan. And if you have any questions, you can send me a message on any of my social media links below as well. If you're in a small clan with your friends and like you want again the benefits of a bigger clan you can come right on over number two if you want to help support me there'll be a link below say best way to support me that'll take you to a four minute video phone go check that out that'd be awesome but if you don't want to do that you can always like subscribe and turn on the notification bell next subscribe share this video and then comment what y'all want to see below third thing if you want to join the discord there are no requirements to join plus we're looking for people who actually have moderator experience to take over the discord like i'm more of a player not a manager so if you like doing that stuff awesome we have some text chats obviously about dc2 forsake and some other upcoming games like division 2 and anthem plus we have some voice chats as well i know for myself i'm on xbox so i can talk to everyone on there but if you're on ps4 or pc and want to chat discord is going to be the best way to do that all right guys hope you enjoyed this video we'll catch you next time